Hey guys, what's up? This is your host, Chef from The Shadow, bringing you the War Recap. Shadow Wars with the Golden Gators. There was a lot of speculation going on before this war even took place. Like, Golden Gators, they are Kingdom Clan, they are pretty old buff, were pretty dominant in the hardcore community. Shadow Wars does not stand a chance. Well, the guys at the Shadow Wars is putting a heck of a lot of show here. 40 to 37 was your final. Uh, Golden Gators failing to double the top town on 11 and the top town on 10. Now this was a no dev war and that is why you see the town on 9 is not clear, the town on 10 is not clear. Uh, the breakdown was 2 town on 11s, 2 town on 10s, 7 town on 9s and 4 town on 8s. So every town on level had to manage their own way. as THFC here going against the great Cambino uh, with an 11 v 11 triple. So they only, uh, well I should not say the only because there were only 2 town on 11s this war. The only 11v11 triple coming from THFC. Uh, before THFC, Hector goes on this base with exactly the same plan, just failing on that archer target that he looked at. Um, slightely uh, on the left side of 12, of the cannon at 12 o'clock, uh, just failing to take that archer target down and fail. You know, it comes super, super close, but yet so far, 2A defense is taken out by the kill squad. He gets the enemy queen, does not even lure out the enemy CC. So that is the value in the perspective of a normal human eye, but THFC here being a superman is not a normal human. He's also uh, trying to create a part of a funnel with a skill squad, and you'll just get to know that in a moment as he drops his primary group of balloons, trying to create an other uh, layer of funnel, and now comes his main group of balloons that is going to take down the core of the base, uh, supplemented by a clone spell. Uh, gonna take out all those infernos, those Teslas, that eagle. It's a lot, lot, lot of value for just eight balloons, I believe. Uh, has the ground warden to supplement them. Has the clone spell to supplement them. Uses the eternal term. This is gone. I mean, the eagle is gone. The a sweeper is gone, and the base is gone. To be honest, like he still has a ton of balloons left. Still has his ground warden and full health. Does that matter though? I don't know. It has a lot of cleanups on all sides of the base and the reason why it took uh, so much cleanup is because Hector also failed on cleanup. Uh, besides failing on the Archer Tower, the last Archer Tower standing. THFC getting this one done. Well, I'm not gonna move it to 4x speed, but I can just move it to 2x speed. And the reason being it's an 11 wheel and triple deserves a lot of time from you guys. So, THFC getting the only 11 v 11 or getting the... Um, it was not a fresh hit, it was after Hector, but once again, we did not have any Town on 10 scouts, we did not have any Town on 9 scouts, because every Town on level, they had to manage their own way, so, kind of like fell short of scouts on this one. All we had was Town on 8 scouts and Town on 9s, and that was all that mattered. We failed to clear 2 Town on 9s on, uh, on the Golden Gator side, the Golden Gators failed to clear 2 Town on 9s on our side, so the Town on 9, 9 game was pretty balanced. I think we asked them out on Town Hall 8v8 gameplay where we had only one fail and uh, plenty of scouts. Uh, we scouted nearly all Town Hall 8s I believe by like the 20 hour mark. Uh, Rohit B here going against Women's City, it's not a fresh hit again, he knows there are so many. Oh, <laughs> look at how Agile troubles its customers. Guys, you should, you should do something about this. But anyway, his ballers, uh, looks like his ballers are... Uh, trying to go to walk, but uh, fortunately, I mean, that does not happen with me. Why does that not happen with me? My ballers try to go, uh, looks like they are going to go in, uh, but then they go out. His ballers, they look like they are going to go out, and then they walked in. But anyway, I, I'm not going to complain about that, because it's a guy from my clan, so. Uh, his baller, uh, his golem baller squad, getting a lot of value here, but look at that, three lava hounds, so. Uh, uh, he is not expecting to get it. Uh, more than 1A defense from a skill squad, but let's see what his skill squad gets. The queen steps up and takes another A defense. So it looks like two lava hounds would have been enough. Might have brought a more, a few more loons onto this one. He has three haste spells, but being really nice and patient. And patience is something that this game teaches you guys. And patience is very important. Do you think patience is a small virtue? No, of course it's not. Uh, you do not realize it, I do not realize it, but you will realize it at a point of your life. Well, I'm, it's not a philosophy class anyway. Uh, well, you know, I just uh, tend to go off track. But still saving a haste spell here. Looks like he's gonna swag this haste spell, but anyway, it's not about swag. It's about just getting this job done as quickly as possible. Uh, has a lot of cleanups, even saves a balloon for cleanup. 
a good idea to do that if you are like pretty down in the raid save a balloon for cleanup and drop it on the side where there are a few balloons so another turn on 9v9 here Rudrak Shri going against pixel art and this one the reason why I'm showing this one is look at the army composition army composition four dragons you remember I did a video on dragons uh, the viability of dragons or how to use dragons in turn online to be simple in your language Kirby cast uh, well so the king and the queen, uh, the king trying to create a funnel for the queen, the queen going to take out the first aid defense, four dragons send in with a rage spell, three balloons, uh, getting that visitor, getting that expo, getting that enemy queen taken care of, getting that clan castle taken care of, a lot, lot, lot of value for that. Those four dragons, as those four dragons, none of those dragons die, still, um, they are out of the range of all aid defenses and this is a great uh, plan and great execution. Surgical balloons coming in. He, uh, she knows the Tesla farm is there because this is a cleanup attack. This was the second attack on uh, this base. The level 4 hound coming in from the CC. More balloons uh, trying to back the hound up. Another haste spell goes with three balloons uh, trying to get that A defense knocked down as quickly as possible because the hound should move to, a, to the central A defense before it takes on to those dragons. So the hound does. Uh, there goes a seeking air mine and here you see another seeking air mine. Wow, that was like a builder base push wrap. The air sheeper pushes the hound and it, uh, you know, it triggers another seeking air mine. Whoa, I mean, that is some high level gameplay. I'm gonna get Pixel Art uh, the benefit of doubt onto this one. I would say that this was his plan. He planned that the air sheeper would push the lava hound uh, to trigger the other seeking air mine, but that was a pretty much GG by the luck. And once again, you see. Dragons are still viable at Town Online. You just need to be creative, you just need to be crafty. It's not that you can use 11 dragons on any base. The reason why she does. Uh, oh, yeah, tell please, no. The reason why she uses uh, dragons, uh, four dragons on the top is because look at the incoming damage the CC, the Queen, uh, the Zex bows, all that stuff. Uh, but the dragons can get it done pretty much easily with just the investment of 80 troop space and one rage spell. The final 9v9, we do not have any 10v10s to show to you guys. I'm sorry about that. We had 4 town on 10v10 triple attempts. Uh, nothing succeeded though. Man is going on Pikachu uh, from the greater side. So, looks like he's gonna use a shattered, uh, once again, a shattered bowl alone. And this time he's gonna, uh, he's not gonna use wall breakers. So, he's gonna use a jump spell. Uh, for the entry, his heroes, they are going to come late, so the CC is uh, triggered. I, I don't think though he wanted the CC to trigger so soon, and that is the reason why he does not get the funnel on the, uh, which side it is, the right side, right side for me. Uh, the funnel on the right side, and that is why the queen walks around, but it's all okay because race ballers are pretty much overpowerful at this point uh, of the game right now. They are going to take care of the enemy queen. The king goes in, the ballers go in, so that is pretty much good. Uh, the friendly queen, though, would have been great had she gone in, but she's uh, doing her work still from the outside of the base. So two A defenses taken care of, the CC taken care of, the queen taken care of. Now it's time to start your lalo phase of the attack. He has got two lava hounds for the final two A defenses. It should be, um, oh my god, the first lava hound does not even get a chance to stand. And that is what happens when two A defenses are shooting at the lava hounds together. It is something to take care of as more balloon groups come into that motor. Trying to reduce the loon travel time for his main group by balloons. We'll talk about all of that in detail um, in our cyclic video how to cyclic looning or cyclic hogging that is counterclockwise or clockwise motions. How to do all of that because I think that kind of video is needed. So that would be probably my next video. If uh, oh, we also have to do the RCS V mashup. So uh, the RCS V mashup is going to be my next video, of course. Yeah, because that is easier to make than the cyclic video. A cyclic video would take time. Anyway, guys, this was uh, about the war. Shadow Warriors taking on Golden Gators. 29 to 28 attacks. Well, they skipped a ton on 11 attack, but that did not even matter. They could not have uh, taken the game away, ha even if they had used those final two attacks. This is Yahoo Chef from The Shadow. Taking your leave. Bye-bye for now.